Microdose, yeah. Microdose. 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 Dose. Dose. Microdose. Microdose. Dose. Dose. Microdose. Microdose. Dose. Dose. What's good, y'all? Kush Hayes here, coming to you, spooky movie edition of the Microdose. It's October. I love Halloween. I love spooky stuff. I love spooky movies. Uh, and uh, brought two of the spookiest guys I know from the Overlook Theater. Big Papa, Russell Fisher, the Lord of Battle Mountain, and Tyrell Trotty of Blu-ray Tuesdays, both on the Overlook Theater YouTube channel. Fellas, what's good, y'all? Hello, how's it going? What's up? I'm, dude, I love that damn intro. Also, I meant to tell you, I was reading a book. It's called The Crow Killer. It's about a dude who's living in the mountains of Montana. Oh. And uh, he lived next to Battle Mountain. So I found it. I found the actual Battle Mountain. Uh-huh. And it's a brutal place, dude. Thank you for making it mine. Is that where Lord Battle came from? I guess. <laughs> Lord Battle's, it's his oh, Instagram I know, handle. I know, but he's talking about a battling book. I don't know. I thought he was going with the crow. He's talking about the crow. Oh, God. Every time I come on here, he gives me that like pro wrestling intro. Oh, and I okay. love, and he always says I'm from Battle Mountain. I'm like, where is that mountain? Oh, because I was lost. No, and I was reading a nonfiction book about early pioneers mm-hmm. and a dude, there was a maniac uh, mm-hmm. named John Johnston who lived mm-hmm. next to Battle Mountain and uh, had a blood feud with the Crow tribe. Oh, okay. He so, murdered oh, okay. many of them. So yeah. Not related to the Crow 4. No. <laughs> <laughs> and not the actual bird, because I thought that's where that was going. I was like, oh, why is he fucking with the Crows, man? What? But all right. no, they don't. They, they don't forget either. Them. Those crows don't forget. No, they're intelligent and dirty. They mm, eat a I lot. Bet. They eat Karen, dude. <laughs> Kush, have you ever seen the crow four? I want to. Uh, what is that with? Um, is that with Edward Furlong, or is this a different? Yep. One? Nope, it's okay. Eddie Furlong. Okay, I want to say I've seen it, um, but it was very un, very unmemorable. <laughs> You, you, was, Dude, David Boreanaz was in it too. David Boreanaz, Dennis Hopper. Uh, mm-hmm. there's, uh, who's the dumb bitch that you met? Tara Reed. Tara Reed. With her Tara dog. Reed. Yeah. I met her at Monster Palooza a couple years ago. You guys don't know where y'all were, but she was there with her Not dog. There. Nobody, <laughs> nobody was in this bitch line. I wonder why. Nobody was there. You know, I got wow. my American Pie Blu ray signed. Okay. I did. No Sharknado? She was hot. Oh, I should have. That would have been better. Yeah. That's probably why she was there as plugging the Sharknado series. So. Yeah, I have all those. I have the all six or seven. How many of those movies? God damn. Yeah, oh, God. There's actually yeah. nine American Pie movies, three separate trilogies. Yeah, they're coming out with a new one. But but real quick. A new, new one? Uh, Jesus Christ. Yes. The Sharknado topic. You were just talking to me in the car on our way here that I gave one star to a movie. Yeah. And that one that movie was called Nyx. It just hit a uh, VOD last weekend. The movie's mm. awful. But it's from the mm-hmm. makers of Sharknado, which is why I wanted to watch it. Oh. It says at the top of the poster from the creators of Sharknado. I was like, oh, what am I in for? You know, but yeah. no, it's, that, it's that's not on you. Very dude. Not that. that was my <laughs> fault. Yeah, that movie was awful. But yeah, they made a new, they're trying it out, something different. Oh, at this point, I thought they should do a new Sharknado. That might be more exciting. God. <laughs> I mean, they've only done seven. I mean, why not do a couple more and then reboot it? Yeah, it's then doing big ass weird off off movies. Yeah, so know. back to Crow Four. There's Tito Ortiz is in it. Oh, Danny wow. Trejo. <laughs> okay. Yeah, dude. It, it, they're trying to go it's back a- to that Southern California vibe that a uh, Crow Two had. By the way, I, I prefer Crow Two over Crow One. I'm weird like that. Okay. I I don't remember any of them, but I'm excited. Uh, he really got Crow off 4. on the death. No, I remember the first one, but didn't he die in real life? Yeah, in part yes. two. On set. He died on the That's set. It. So how did, they finish, how did they finish the movie? Uh, they had thinking, finished right? most of the principal photography. So like anything else, and it was just little pickup shots and like just, you know, like the back of his head, oh, the dude. scene where he actually does get murdered. Like there's there's some heavy CGI in, in the handprint because that's what happened. The Aww. scene is he's in some dude's bedroom. He's hanging out on the thing like a crow would. That guy freaks out, oh. pulls a revolver and shoots him right in the hand. and there was something lodged in the barrel, which then became active, shot through Brandon Lee's hand and hit him right, if not in the Ooh. face, in the chest. Oh my God. So yeah. that's how he died? Shooting a fucking movie? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think yeah, Very, very I'll reminiscent to the Alec Baldwin thing uh, last yeah. summer. 
Oh, yeah. I remember. I was here when that happened. Clark ran his little weenie butt down and he was like, oh, you know what happened? Remember that? <laughs> he ran down the stairs. It's exciting news. Yeah, he's like, Alec Baldwin's a murderer. And I was like, oh my god, what happened? Remember that? Dude. Yeah. Then he got high outside. <laughs> then he got high outside. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know Clark got high. Yeah, oh, I do. Dude. Oh, man. Tell yeah. Him. yeah, it's the only thing he does now. Oh, okay. Because the, the few times that we hung out with the uh, barely functional gamers, just like, eh. Appreciate it, but no, thank you. I mean, maybe that's still a COVID oh, yeah. thing for him. <laughs> You're funny, Kush. Am I? <laughs> Your facial expressions when you were saying things, your deliverance. Right, uh, <laughs> maybe we should make this a video show then. Yeah. Guys. Um, I have a question for you since we're talking quote unquote spooky. Did sure. you watch X and Pearl? I have not seen X and I definitely didn't see Pearl because I didn't see X. Um, uh, no, no, it doesn't uh, matter, dude. Catch it in the theater. And I would watch it in the theater. I'm yeah. telling you right now, we have so many friends who are like, I'm not watching X. And then they watch Pearl because, you know, they're. And now they want to see X. Yeah, they watch film. No, not I wanted to see X. And it was one of those things where, like, it came out the same weekend that uh, Unfound Footage Festivals 5 happened. I was like, oh, oh yeah. I got to go to this, true. <laughs> gotta go to this after. one. Yeah. Funny, you know, we were running that thing. It was very stressful. And I still got my ass to go watch X. Yeah, we still watched <laughs> X at the Alamo Draft House. We sure did. We were late. We're like, no, we're watching this shit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, no, X was definitely on my on my radar. I wanted to see it. I didn't see it, but then I heard like, oh, Pearl's a direct sequel prequel to it. That's Pre weird. It's only, it hasn't even yeah. been like six months, which is also impressive. Well, yeah. they were filmed. They were filmed back to back. They were filmed back to back. Okay, I understand. There's a third one coming out. Um, yeah, Mac well, again. Horror in 2022, guys. X and Pearl. Well, th these are two titles I missed. Tell tell the listeners in the microdose why it was so great if they didn't see it. I think they're interesting because they're slasher films. Or mm -hmm. Ty West is savvy enough to play with genre tropes. Mm -hmm. And with X, he did a like 70s kind of like grindhouse Texas chainsaw thing. Mm -hmm. Except he put a twist on it. And everything feels fresh. I mean... Even the kills are worthwhile in that movie. And it has Jenny Ortega, my new favorite final girl, Scream Queen yeah. from Scream 5, Babysitter 2, the Wednesday show that's hitting uh, Netflix next month. Mm. She's in it. I'm going to skip that. Why? Because, <laughs> dude, I'm monsters all the way. I don't watch no Adam's family. We don't shit. get into monsters. We got to finish <laughs> talking about Pearl first. <laughs> well, no, dude, Kush, um, you got to watch Pearl. X. You know, X might not be as up your alley as Pearl. Really? Because well, it here's was so the thing. Fun. So it's yeah, a trilogy. It's definitely trilogy. interested. Why do you think I'm not interested in X as opposed to yeah. Pearl? No, no, not as much. I mean, X is much more of like a horror movie. Yeah. Where Pearl is it's like not. a homage to 40s, 50s, like studio cinema. Yeah. Like okay. very Wizard of Oz. But Mia Goth axed her ass off. Like, bitch, she was tearing that movie up with her acting. Yeah, strong act performance. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. not that a monologue, lot of that face at the end. She didn't even crack a blink. Like that girl. Yeah, mm -hmm. that like that movie is more of like um a film fan. Like it's more traditional. Like that's Ooh. a movie that fucking Criterion would put out. Oh, I yeah. don't think oh, they would yeah, ever put out that. Yeah, I don't know. No, probably not. No, Pearl. Yeah. And it gets a cool Walmart slipcover um, exclusively to Walmart. Uh, I think next month, actually, it's hitting Blu-ray. Um, Are you going to get one? Yeah, Are you going to order it online? Yeah, I'm going to get the Walmart one. Man. I like that <sighs> slip. But I do like the regular slip because it has her with a little finger like this with the axe behind her with an X. So it's an homage to like the X movies. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, or whatnot. But uh, the new one has her with this thing like this blood splatter. I don't know. It looks hella cool. I'll show it to you. But uh, the Walmart exclusive, everyone's going crazy for the Walmart slip. See, I get weird because I missed. I know X had a cool release. Yeah, had a good slip. Cover, yeah, it did. But I fucking missed it. So now I don't even want to buy Pearl. Why? Collector. I, I know. And then I'm not going to have the. Oh, I'll it. be mad. You'll be slipless. I'm sorry. Like Costco's going to come out with a box set in like two months. It'll be fine. Don't worry. Don't oh. worry. Cos I think Costco has been dropping the ball with their Blu-rays. Right? Yeah, I don't. They used to I carry fucking Criterion there. They used to have all kinds, of, a whole long section of like yeah. Blu-rays and shit, DVDs, hmm. video games. They ain't got that. When I went in there, I couldn't find it. No, maybe no. like one or two releases, maybe like Thor. But I mean, if you went to that, mm. but that's that's pretty much it. The, the <laughs> essence high. of my Costco days, before it was called Price Club, you'd enter the entire warehouse and right there would be the TVs. And I lost my mind because there was a TV slash VCR combo. I was like, Wow, this is the future. 
and I need to be a part of this. And then years go on and on. And then all of a sudden, like, you know, the TVs are still there. But like, before you get there, there's like diamond rings. And it was like, who the fuck is buying diamond rings from Costco? <laughs> like, Costco? Hell yeah. And on a budget. I'm, I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's, <laughs> I'm sure it's at a small discount, the smallest of discounts. I'm sure it's a brand name, but like, who's buying diamond rings at Costco? Come on, guys. <laughs> A guy with guy liner on and his. Oh, I love shorts. the guy liner comment. <laughs> so, did you get your back in the day when you used to go there with the VCRs and shit? Did they have free samples? Yes, that's always oh, been they a did. Thing. I wanted to know because I used to love when I was a kid going to Costco. <laughs> my grandma, I'm going to give me some stamp. I used to hate going grocery shopping with her. But then when she said, Oh, we're going to Costco, I'm like, Oh, I'm here for it. I'm going to be some samples. <laughs> <laughs> I right? I loved you. Bitch, yeah. I went back for seconds. <laughs> I remember changing my shirt to put my sweater on. Like, oh, I come back, got my seconds. Uh huh. I'm a mess. I'm sorry. <laughs> it started at a young age. As we, we <laughs> talked about what has come out this year, what are we looking forward to going forward? We're, as of right now, like again, Hellraiser drops on Hulu today. Do we need it? Is it going to be any good? Halloween ends. I didn't hear anything good about that last one. As much as I liked the 2018 version. Oh, I like not been looking forward to either of these. Halloween Kills was great. Was it? Evil Dies Tonight. I know that much. Evil Dies Tonight. tonight. Cheers to that. I'm going to get more beer. But no, Evil (laughs) Dies Tonight. So let me tell you. Next next week is Halloween Ends. And I am so excited. No, it's okay. I'm really no, it's okay. I'm Go really ahead. excited for Halloween ends. And I mean I mean kills. So I'm excited for the third one. Supposedly I was reading that like people are gonna be upset by this film. I don't know what that no. means. Then I only trailer. Okay, we'll see. We talked about trailers earlier. I was so excited. I did watch that teaser that dropped with Lori Strode. Like, oh, like she's in her old school. Like she dusted off that whole outfit from the seventies. She wore that new that outfit again. And then she, Michael's there and she's fighting him. I don't know. She's like in her 60s, 70s fighting this old ass Michael Myers. All this power. I don't know. So I don't know. I'm afraid that she's gonna die or something. Because why are people gonna be upset about this ending? What are they gonna do she, that make people upset? Well, she's definitely supposed to die in this. That's that's. You think so? That's the hero's journey. This is their mm-hmm. final battle, like Lori versus Michael. Like their she- final battle, but they 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 already had a final battle once upon a yeah, time. H two O was Hall- great. Well, there was it was the film after H two O. She she gets killed oh, in the first ten I, minutes. I no one thinks about that movie. The movie's awful. And that that was movie is awful, ending. but it still happened. Yeah, but that movie is an awful ending to Laurie Strode's character, in my opinion. Like, I feel like she's I agree. so long, and that to take her out like that on that little cliff thing, like, oh, mm-hmm. I'll see you in hell, and she kisses him on the cheek. No, that's whack. You don't end Laurie Strode's character like that. That's why they brought it. That's why I, <laughs> I forgot all about that shit. H2O has a perfect ending. She was not crying mm-hmm. anymore. You know, the first two movies she was in, all she did was cry, and she was so scared of this man. This one, she trapped herself in the fucking dungeon with him basically like the whole school she closed it off and she went up this chopped his head off that was a perfect ending i saw this in the theater when i was a kid uh, and i same. remember everyone everyone were on their feet they got a round of applause clapping for this girl oh she, they stood up too wow they stood up and it was such a great experience for me to be in that theater to see this it's like nothing else i've ever seen like it was amazing and uh that was i don't know laurie strode for a long time was she was like my favorite i always like nancy laurie was always my second in that moment in time as a kid, but watching Scream, you know, the, my, my everything shifted around. But anyways, but I don't know. Going into this this next one, I'm afraid if she does die, <laughs> if they she do, better die. That's what he's just definitely saying. dying. But I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that. Uh, she has to go. She has to go out a little better than what she did in Resurrection. Yes. How about that? How yeah. about Michael Myers like shark? Yeah, if, <laughs> he if always, she does, he always and, come with blood. But yeah. you could understand they might pass the torch on to the the younger girl. What's her granddaughter? I don't mm. like her though. Do you like oh. that bitch, Allison? Her mom died in. Oh, he didn't watch Kills. <laughs> it's in. The, it's it's it's, it's, it's spoiled it. in the trailer. It's spoiled in the trailer. Like he killed mom my died? daughter. Like, they killed Julie uh, Greer. What? Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, they did. Evil dies tonight. <laughs> Evil dies tonight. Dude, I I non ironically love that movie. Yes, but I was shocked that he. Liked I it also too. acknowledge that it is kind of a shit show, mm-hmm. but Kush, dude, Michael Myers just he stalks Haddonfield, and they do this like. It's like um, Mizonsen, but of a fucking small town. And it, oh my yeah, goodness. so it, yeah, do you know what that Very is? Sweet. Like the no. third dimension of film. Okay, so if you're directing a movie and it mm. takes place in a large house, right. you kind of want to give an audience a blueprint so that you know if um, I'm going to exit the scene out the left door, they should know where you're going. And 
with the new Halloween kills, they do it in a chaotic way where you never know where you are in Haddonfield. Mm -hmm. And the movie is basically like the town. So you jump around from house to house and people are like, oh, Michael Myers comes out tonight. We should be careful. And they're like, you don't believe that dumb shit. And then Michael will show up and kill them. And it's almost like, it's almost like a movie made of vignettes. Mm. And dude, it's it's cool. It really makes it feel like he's terrorizing the town. He did. Yeah, it's it's great. And the gore is good, too. It was great. All oh, the kills. All right. Here. Cheers. Cheers. No, take oh. a sh- I, I brought shots, too. Yeah. So oh, we, shots. So we got to watch Hellraiser now. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers, Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for having Cheers. us on. By the way. This is really fun talking about horror. This is like my bread and butter. Thanks for being a part of this, guys. Seriously. Well, Kush, you're fucking sleeping on screen five. Thank now, you. No, I know, I know, Terrell. I mean, if it's on Netflix right now, I'm, I'll go I'm watch quiet. it. Um, it's like, on Paramount. I just Plus. didn't see it, so I don't have the. Paramount how how much of the franchise have you watched? Uh, I've seen one through three. I didn't see Scream Four. Or did I? I? I saw a bootleg of Scream Four. I take that back. I saw a bootleg of Scream Four when it came out. I was like, yeah, all right, there. Oh well, here's the thing: one, three. No, one, four, and five all are kind of, you know, they came out in a different era for mm-hmm. horror. And I really think the one thing they've continued to do perfectly is kind of have their fingers on the pulse of the culture mm-hmm. and do Scream 5. Mm-hmm. The, the kind of meta dialogue they have is all talking shit about like highbrow horror. Yep. And they're, they're, they're elevated horror. Elevated they horror. Use. Yep. They, they're mm-hmm. like ripping on the Babadook and shit. Yeah. Dude, it's good. They're like, oh, A24. I, Samar, dude, um, every time I'm yep. shocked that like, uh, because okay, clearly me and Terrell, this is mostly what we talk about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And for a movie like Scream 5, what, two decades in the making? Yeah. So removed. And then yet they're still kind of with the conversation too. Yep. It's like, dude, we mm-hmm. bitch about A24 all the time, but we love them. Yeah. I mean, go to all of them, <laughs> but it's kind of like, you know, we knew what Bodies, Bodies, Bodies was going to be. Duh, I forgot about that. Have you seen that one? I don't even know what that is. Oh, the Body fall. Screen? Ask if you seen. Have you seen the fall? <laughs> no. Oh my god, you behind? You said twenty twenty two. Don't worry. Horror. We're yep. gonna fix it. We're bringing him to the movie theater tomorrow. Yeah, there we go. Oh, look at him. Is he falling? He falling? Dude, fall. <laughs> uh, legitimately was like giving me vertigo. Yeah, me. Oh god. Oh, okay. Oh, oh dude, that, that that came out like in September, right? And it was like one of those like quiet weekends. It was like a, a month same ago. Day, the same day <laughs> yeah, as Bodies, October, Bodies, Bodies. September. Yep. yep, the same exact opening night. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so someone's someone's hanging off like a tower or something. Like, that's yep. the fall, right? Okay, yeah. It, it was one of those things where I, I just missed. I didn't get to the theater that week. Nothing was driving me. And yeah, oh well. Okay, but it's a great movie. Well, because you, you... Hey, if there's ever like a horror movie that's coming out, Mm-hmm. And you're like, uh, maybe I'll go. Just know that we will be at Century 20 on that <laughs> Thursday every time. We go to the 7 o'clock show. So if you're ever just like bored, just come out there. We'll go to the okay. movie, have a beer. Then you'll go into fall and have a heart attack. Because that movie, <laughs> leg- dude, it was legitimately. Yeah. It's the uh, only time I'll ever say this, dude. I regret not watching it in D-Box. I oh. Know. That was okay. that would have been great. Right? And then the next week when I was like, because uh, Chris wanted to go see it. Oh, he did go see it. And I was like, oh, if that D-Box seats, I'll go. And he looked it up. It was a week They're later, gone, by the right? way. There was yeah. no D-Box seats at all. But I, mm. dude, Kush, I saw uh, Star Wars, the last one, the, the worst one ever made. Oh, you didn't oh, like the that? Return of Skywalker? You didn't like that one? Rise of Skywalker? The last Skywalker or some shit? The yeah. last Skywalker. Uh, okay. last Star Wars oh, 9. Oh, you got it. You and got it. Uh, I saw that in D-Box and I, fuck, I turned it off. I, ha- I hated it. I think it you so told much. me this. Yeah, we were there. I only got oh, the people. You're, oh, you're right. Oh, I, why did you like the middle one? I'll what tell was you that why. one called? You love the middle one. The middle what? The last, it was, it was a lot. What? The new Star Wars trilogy. You oh, like no. the second <laughs> one. That, yeah, the Ryan Johnson one. Yeah. yeah and I the do, requel. It. It's the requel. Um, no, but I thought you were talking about the middle setting on the, no, the, the middle D-box. fucking movie. I forgot like, what it was called. The that was I the like, worst one. I turned that shit completely off. And I wow. was like, wow. Dude, it was giving me anxiety. I was it's like, amazing that you can do that, actually, because you can't do that at my D box theater. Um, Why? The best you can is do is steady? turn off spritz. Don't, no, no, no liquids are being shot in your face because I'm just like, yeah. Uh, so I'm just trying to avoid I want the liquids that. in my face. Oh, I- no, you do not. Shut up, your boyfriend <laughs> might hear this. No, you do not. 
<laughs> is it hot? I is don't know. Steak? What is it? What, what, what's wrong I, I, with it? I turned it off. I was like, we're not having anything spritz in our face. No. Why? No. You don't, you don't like on? stuff on your face? He turned it off. No, sir. Turning him on. Oh, he like, oh, okay. He's like, no, no, no. He, don't, he ain't here for the facial. <laughs> Dude, I've never been squirted in a theater. <laughs> Dude, I what the it's fuck? Funny. They didn't squirt shit during the invitation. No, they. <laughs> Dude, they we, we, oh, we, talk we, about this. That's 2022. We the saw invitation. the invitation. Did you see that, Kush? I missed the invitation. Oh, it looked like a lot my, of fun. This came out no, on my birthday. Nope. Russell okay. Oxford treated me to this feature film, and we. Happy they, birthday! They got me. Thank you. They got me D box seats, and in nice. my head, I'm like, I wonder why this is in D box. This movie doesn't like that type of I know. movie. We knew right. like it squirted on. The so. only time this this fucking seat moved was when the wind hit the window. <laughs> Remember that? The okay. Like that, and, <laughs> and then the seat would move. I'm like, oh, okay, we got a magic carpet ride. And then <laughs> I didn't have that much shit happening. No jump scares. There was a lot of uh, the clock, the clock. Remember the tick, <laughs> tick, tick. Then the seat moved. Like, really? Like, For the clock? Oh, yes. Oh, the movie was not that good. So I I've it. had two D box experiences. My first one was Black Ooh. Widow, and I was like. That's got to be fun. Oh, and I was like, oh, my I like God, I, I, I hate all of this right now. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> like, oh, you know, so, someone tries to shoot Scarlett Johansson and a bullet whisk pass and, yep. and a, a stream of air just whoosh, I'm like, oh, my God. All right. I, I, I was not ready for D-Box. And I was like, thank God I didn't see Fast 9 the week before. Oh, I go see Fast Top Nine Gun Maverick. Frankie. Top Gun Maverick. Oh, that amazing was amazing in D-Box. In D-box. Yeah. Clap! Yeah. Tell him. You tell him that movie was so fucking good. Well, it's, it's not spooky or horror, but Top Gun Maverick was amazing. Yeah, but the first one was so boring. It is. I'll tell you. I, I watched it before, and I was like, "Bitch, <laughs> I can't finish it." Anyway, so Maverick is great. I didn't like the first one. Maybe, Did you get sported on? Maybe it was too old for me. I was. Did they sport on you in I Maverick? Was, I wasn't even born when that came they out. They did a lot of stuff with uh, D Box and Maverick. So I again, I, I turned off. I no squirting. <laughs> squirting no. off. But you know, again, like at one point we're we're in the snow, so all of a sudden it's snowing in the theater. It's like, wow, that's all right. And you know, um, at one oh. point we're we're on the coastal, we're on the beach. Guys are playing some football, and there's a nice. Breeze oh yeah, that in. was very homoerotic. They're all shirtless and sweaty. It was hot. They're all shirtless and sweaty. <laughs> but you know yes, what? Yes, they were. It's, worse. Oh, it's yeah. true. You know what's worse is no one cleaned. The fucking pipes in the D box, so you're smelling like just basement coming. Ew. It's supposed to be like, oh, Ew. this is a nice San Diego breeze. Like, oh, it smells like grandma's basement in here. Oh, Jesus. Like, Ew. that was my only negative comment about D box for Maverick. Otherwise, <laughs> shit was amazing. Yeah. Jeanette McCarty's mom, you're like, it's stank house, her hoarding house. Ooh. Yes, oh I heard that God. she had rats and shit. Oh, and you yeah. didn't tell me about Jeanette McCarty, that mama bathe her 15 year old son and 12 year old girl like they were little two year olds yeah I told that's you. disgusting they in puberty no, it's bueno. so why, are, why why is she bathing them together <laughs> Shania McC- i've been trying to read this book and i've been looking up shit like this is gross but they got a picture book version <laughs> <laughs> Look, hey, Coach, have you have you uh the read Jeanette mccarty book i'm glad my mother died on the grandma oh uh, i the- know of it i heard a passage of it where this woman, this woman's mother is just berating her the entire time, and then she's like, "Refrigerator is broke. Buy us a new one." <laughs> yeah, that's when she wrote her an email. It was that's super fucked up. Yeah, she called her a little slut, a whore. She said her whole family was gonna hate her. She was gonna turn all her fans against her, and she's like, "And the fridge broke. Please send money." <gasps> She wow. didn't say please. <laughs> I don't know why I gave her that. This seems to be a Lifetime movie network or a Tubi movie. Well, it, I heard if you get the audiobook, it's Jeanette reading it. Which is Really? Nice. Oh, yeah. actually, that sounds cool. Yeah, so if you want to check out some horror this October, go yeah, that's pick a, up. That's yeah, definitely right. a horror story, Kush. That's 2022 horror. No, it's super fucked up. That's probably right, the like, worst what? horror thing ever. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what's it called again? Uh, I wish my... I'm glad my mother is dead. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it's along that. Yeah, and that's fucked up because that's your mama. She gave birth to you. Could you imagine that? Nah. The bitch has to be really crazy for that you to write a book about this. Hope. Halfway through that book, you'll turn. Right. I'm just saying. I know, I generally know. speaking, your mother is the one that you know you look up to, the one that gave birth to you, the one that's supposed to have your best interest at heart. But mm-hmm. that's not the case in this situation, unfortunately. Not in every <laughs> case, unfortunately. <laughs> uh oh, you got a story. Everyone has a story. 
That's uh -oh. not important right now. So let's talk about Hellraiser. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. We're watching this on Friday on Hulu, and yeah, I'm here. Our, our, we're looking forward to this. Does, is I this am going to be better than anything else? Like, holler at me. Girl. <laughs> yes, I like the actress. I used to watch her on the L Word. She's a uh, trans. Uh, male to female and I love her she's great and she's playing Pinhead and I saw the little pictures and the little I didn't watch the trailer like you do but I watched the I saw the pictures she looked good is she showing her Pinhead or no. is she is she post Pinhead I think she cut it off I don't okay. know maybe she's still got a dick <laughs> down there I don't know she a woman but anyway she uh I don't know the new Cenobites look creepy as fuck I saw some other pictures like on Twitter mm -hmm. of some of the other Cenobites that are in this feature film and they look insane and I can't wait to see how that plays out I did see some early reviews and early screening reviews from people who said oh wow this is I hate when they do that like oh this is the best since the original I well know. who knows yeah. <laughs> but they always do that to get people to go watch this shit and then we watch like oh bitch you lied but I, I, I'm excited I want to see it for myself. Hey, so, uh, pray, pray, oh, deliver, pray, yeah. deliver. pray was good, but this pray was, wasn't uh -oh. great. You seem hesitate. Oh, you're a Danny no, no, no. fan, huh? No, I didn't. Like I, I hate. <laughs> no, I do not like Predator Two. I will two, definitely put this that. above Predator Two. If there's, yeah, there's Predator with Schwarzenegger, the and then there's Predator with Amber Mid Thunder, or Prey with Amber Mid Thunder, and then there's all the others. Yeah. Like, but I'm excited to see where that where this goes. Yeah, people don't give enough love to the Hellraiser franchise. Yeah, there's like nine there, of them. There's a couple good ones. And there's in some there, solid ones. Yeah, yeah. But I, I don't know. Press, did you see ahead. the non Doug Bradley one? There's two of them. I did, I did not see the Judgment, non Doug Bradley the one, one but like, it is very obvious it's not Doug Bradley. And you're like, yeah, it's Revelations oh. and Judgment, the one where it's like a CSI basically investigation or some sort oh, yeah. and it just so happens that there's a uh, cenobites in the fucking puzzle box the movie is awful Lionsgate yeah. came out like, like 2017 2018 I, I think after uh hellraiser 5 they're all like that where it's like oh hey kind of. it's well, a drama six, and there's a puzzle yeah box. six brought christy back and yeah. uh she was like the main that had a cool little twist ass ending seven was that like the computer one or maybe that was five seven was no seven is deader dreader and I then, think that's the last one I watched. Yep, like, Dreader. Yep. I don't remember that one that much. I remember the cover. Neither. Yeah. I remember part five. There's a detective. He's like a PI, and he goes to the back of like a subway train. Is that Hellseeker? I, I don't remember I don't that. Remember. Dude, oh, okay. you Sorry. get extra points for remembering yeah, those I'm fucking yeah, names. Yeah, because it's I, a hell on earth. It's uh, the lost. The, 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 the space one is part four. Yeah, what the hell is that name. called? I don't remember. No, three is hell on earth. <laughs> Or oh, Hellraiser, Hell, Hellbound is two. Fuck, mm -hmm. sorry, you're quizzing me right here. I, no, <laughs> dude, but the dude Hellraiser dude, four is in space. Think, That's all the yeah, only thing I remember. I don't think it's called in space though. <laughs> that was a working title. It's yeah. definitely not in, called in space. The dogs, remember the dogs, dude. I can't wait to get back there where all our franchise horror goes to outer space. Oh. Leprechaun yeah. went to space. Yep. Jason went to space. Mm -hmm. Hellraiser went to space. Hellraiser uh, critters. Space. Critters, went critters to space. Went, well, critters always in space, though. Nah, well, no, because it like was that. on Earth. <laughs> the eggs. It's different. The critters came from space. Yeah, but yeah, but they went back. Yep. It takes a oh. turn. <laughs> oh, is critters trying to do alien? <laughs> dude, critters. Yeah, it it jumps the shark somehow too. So that Hellraiser. dude, he's going back through the subway train, and in the last car. It's like a weird actually it was kind of predicting the future because it's all these like junkies have taken it over. And Perfect. in the back of it, there's like the king junkie, and he's the one that has all the occult knowledge. Do you I remember, don't remember that? Remember that. That's the only part of that movie I remember. Part five. I want to kind of rewatch some of the old ones. I don't know if I have time before Friday, but so guys, you can find Lord Battle at Overlook Fear on Twitter. Instagram is at Lord Battle. Anyway, Fuck. Terrell's right. You can find him yes. at uh, Terrell. 826 on Twitter. You can find him at yep. Terrell88 on Instagram. Guys, is there anything I'm missing here? Yeah, it's CNT Unfiltered. That's Terrell's new podcast that they so politely let me on one time and never again. Bitch, we only have 22 episodes. Yeah, shout out to CNT Unfiltered. And watch the Overlook uh, Theater YouTube because we got some shit coming. Blu-ray Tuesday with Terrell is popping off. Stay tuned to Spooky Blu-ray Tuesday, which is super fun. Uh, tomorrow, Thursday, or, or maybe Friday, uh, my newest episode is going to drop. And that's going to be fun, I hope. Should be tomorrow. Yeah, so it should be fun. So uh, all through October, there's some trick-or-treats going on. So um, stay tuned for that. Kush, I love you, man. Uh, anytime you want to kick it, dude, we're down to come on here and 
ruin your show. <laughs> I know, right? He probably like, he said, I'm cutting all he said I'm cutting all this out. I am so sorry, but I had fun. I just want to tell you that for sure. I appreciate you being here, Terrell. And I had Thank a lot you. of fun as well. Also, uh, I, I do some stuff around here. You're obviously listening to Microdose, but the Waffle Box podcast is the best part of Wednesdays. Every Wednesday, you can hear me and Mr. Mike Fish talk about everything and nothing at all. All right. Anyway, otherwise, for Terrell's Roddy, for Lord Battle, I've been Cushes, you've been you, and Microdose, 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 yeah, microdose. From the Bosnet family. You're funny, Kush. Am I?